In this video, we will take a look at how to change some of the home group settings and adjust what we want to share. After you have set up the Windows Home Group, you may want to share custom folders or to stop sharing certain folders. To do this, go back to the Home Group in the Control Panel. By default, Home Group will allow you to select entire libraries to share over the network. If I want to stop sharing an entire library, all I would need to do is unselect it and then click Save Changes. But what if I wanted to stop sharing certain folders from the library and not the entire library? To do this, you will need to navigate to the location of the folder that you would like to stop sharing. Once you have located the folder, click on it once to select it, and then go up to Share With. If I want to stop sharing the folder completely, then I would choose Nobody. I could also choose to allow other people to be able to view the folder, but not make any changes by selecting the Home Group Read option. By default, any folder that is being shared with the Home Group is going to have the Read Write permissions. This means that anyone who has access to the Home Group will be able to view the files and folders, or edit and delete the files and folders. So be careful who you give access to your Home Group. If you want to share a file and folder that is not located in one of the libraries, then you will need to add it to one of the libraries that is being shared. For example, I want to share the Bills folder that is on my desktop. To do that, right-click on the folder and hover over Include in Library. If you want, you can add the folder to an existing library, like the Documents. Then you would be able to view it in that library from the other computer. Instead, I'm going to create a new library for all of the items that I would like to share on my desktop so that I can keep things better organized. I'm going to open up Windows Explorer and click on New Library at the top. I'm going to name the library Desktop. Now in order to share the library over the home group, right click on it and hover over Share With. Then choose either Home Group Read or Read and Write. Now go back to the folder or file that you would like to add to the new library. Right click on the folder and hover over Include in Library. Then choose the new library that you created. Now I'm going to go over to the other computer. To view the newly shared folders, open up Windows Explorer and click on the computer under the Home Group category. Now you can see that there is a new desktop folder, and when I click on it, I can view all of the contents of the Builds folder that I added. This concludes our video on how to share custom folders over the Windows 7 Home Group.